God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. And where there's God, there's no imperfection. How many of you have ever been in love? I know I have. I'm getting married in May. And I'm with someone who's a lot like me, but in a lot of ways we're different. But we both have very strong personalities. And, you know, I'm, a, I'm still young. You know, we've been together for five years. There's people who've been married for forever. So I'm speaking to the choir. But one thing that I can take away from my lessons in these five years, if you can listen to an old young pup like me, is that love is freedom. Love in its essence is freedom. And I think one way me and her get along so well is because we allow each other to be free. And, you know, we don't constrict. That energy of love isn't constriction. Energy in itself doesn't like being put into a box. It's, 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 and so when you're in a relationship, and it doesn't even have to be a relationship. A lot of these are, a lot of these are your best friends your closest friends. Y'all provide an energy for each other that isn't constricting. Think about why a best friend is a best friend in your life. Why is it that you consider this person your closest, closest friend? I bet you can say that you're able to be your complete self or cl closest to your complete self that you let out to anybody. But whoever you're able to be the, your complete, truest self with is usually your best friend, your closest friend. And it's the same way in a relationship. And, you know, when you're not so tied to constriction and doing those things, you're able to really provide a space for your lover to grow. That's truly what you're doing is when you go into these relationships, I've learned that it's successful when you don't dim any light or anything like that. You simply provide a space and opportunity for your partner to grow, for your best friend to grow, for your soulmate to grow. And in essence, when you all are together, y'all are both gaining wisdom, growing closer and closer to each other, as well as closer and closer to the source, which is in essence who you truly are. So when we're with our partners, we're growing closer and closer with ourself at the same time as with them. And, you know, what I realize is just the importance of that. The importance of that because we all, at some point in our lives, probably in middle school, elementary school, we all probably had a, a vision in our mind of who we wanted to end up with. You know, maybe it was somebody who was like our parents. Maybe, you know, you just had a preference. Black, white, Indian, Asian. Whatever the case may be, I know at one point when I was running track, I thought I was gonna end up marrying a, a track star because the girls, they were, I don't have to get into all that. But at one point I thought I had my mind made up on who the perfect girl was. And you know, you end up kind of drifting towards that for whatever reason, but at the same time, a lot of the relationships don't work out well because we, when we're with that person, we end up projecting on them instead of accepting who they are. We end up projecting who we want. We try to fit them into this narrative in our mind and our a box in our head of what is the perfect relationship as we have told ourselves, but you can't fit one whole soul with all those experiences into a box. You just have to accept them exactly for who they are. Allow them to be their truest self around you what you consider good, bad, it's all dualistic. So just accept them for who they are. If they do something that you consider it's not, it doesn't work for you, then maybe if you can't accept that for that person, then maybe y'all aren't supposed to be together. But I know that in a true loving relationship, it's not about constricting, it's about growth. It's about acceptance, nature is love in itself. These, these raindrops that are falling on me right now, you probably hear on the mic, I don't know how it sounds, but nature is love, nature is creation, nature is abundant, and nature is for, for everybody to, because we are a part of it. And so, you know, taking those lessons, understanding that love is flowing energy. And 
You know, if I could just give a little lesson, you know, from my five years in this relationship, or really just my whole life in general, is to let each other grow, to treat each other the same regardless of who we are, and just be love. You know, it's not about you loving this person more, loving this person more, just be love. Just sit on that frequency and let other people match it. Let other people match it and you'll start to attract who you're meant to be with. Like I said, if you're not in a relationship, these are best friends. These are people that come into your life for a specific reason. Why are they in your life? They're in your life so you can grow together. And you do that by truly accepting who they are and first accepting yourself, loving yourself so that you aren't projecting what you fear or your boxes or your blockages onto another because truly your blockages that are within become blockages in your relationship. So what you fear within becomes what you fear in another person. What you fear about yourself becomes what you fear in another person. And so understanding that we truly can just stop all this divorce or maybe we don't even have married weddings. Whatever you want to do, if you partner up with somebody or if you're just having a best friend type relationship, let's just grow together. Let's just get closer and closer to our source together and everything's going to be all right. God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. And where there's God, there's no imperfection. Appreciate y'all checking in. I'll talk to y'all soon. Hopefully it'll be the sunny day next time. But if it's not, we're going to still be out here. I'll let y'all soon. Peace.